following is a copy of an amateur home movie filmed during the 1951 McDonald's Briar held in Halifax. The winning team at this event, with a record of 10 straight wins in round-robin style format, was the Nova Scotia rink from the Annapolis Valley town of Kenfield. It was comprised of lead Wally Canock, second Fred Dyke, mate George Hansen, and skip Don Euler. Each team played 10 games that year because Newfoundland had their inaugural trip to the Briar. The film was done by Bernie Cleveland, who later gave it to Don Euler. My name is John Euler, Don's son, and I have attempted to identify some of the people shown in the video. So here goes. The opening footage is a game between Manitoba and BC, two pre Bonspiel favorites. That was Skip, BC Skip Alf Chesser delivering a stone. Manitoba Skip Roy Forsyth delivers a stone. Manitoba front end Alistair McDermott and Art Mears look on. Roy Forsyth delivers another stone. BC lead Jake Rothery delivers a stone. Manitoba second, Alistair McDermott delivers a stone. BC mate, or third, John Cameron delivers. Jake Rothery prepares to sweep. BC mate, John Cameron delivers another stone. This is Nova Scotia lead Wally Canock delivering. Wally came to Kentville from Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. Wally delivers a second rock. Northern Ontario lead William McKay delivers a rock. This is Nova Scotia second Fred Dyke from Yarmouth, moved to Kentville, delivers a rock. Fred delivers a second rock. Nova Scotia mate George Hansen delivers a rock. George learned his curling in Lumsden, Saskatchewan, came to Kentville in 1947. Nova Scotia skip Don Euler delivers, lifelong resident of Kentville. Photographer is pretty close to him. There goes the flash. Northern Ontario skip Wally Johnstone delivers. Don Euler delivers another rock. Note the spats. Not evident was the lucky rabbit's paw he always carried in his left sweater pocket. Ontario mate Stan Jones delivers a rock. Handshakes with Northern Ontario after their game and with Nova Scotia. Don Euler delivers again. Don Euler publicly attributed 
the development of his curling style to having read the instructional book, Ken Watson on Curling. As an aside, Mr. Watson was a spectator at the Briar that year, and the Nova Scotia team played a practice game against him. Kindly autographed a broom from my father, who used that broom throughout the Bondsville. We're now looking at Nick Thibodeau, New Brunswick, Skip holding the broom, Don Euler, George Hansen in the background. George Hansen moves out. The better look. Don Euler delivers again. Nova Scotia played a Western style game, again Ken Watson's influence, and it seemed to catch some of the Western rinks by surprise. Wally Canock, lead Nova Scotia, delivers again. Red Dyke, Nova Scotia second, delivers a stone. Nick Thibodeau, the New Brunswick skip delivers. Looks like he may be delivering the mate's rocks. This is George Hansen, Nova Scotia mate or third, delivering a stone. This footage is Manitoba versus Saskatchewan. Again, Saskatchewan was one of the pre-tournament favorites. This is Manitoba lead Art Mears delivering a stone. Manitoba second Alistair McDermott delivers a stone. Saskatchewan second Bill Hartwell delivers. Manitoba second Alistair McDermott throws. Manitoba mate Lauren Stewart throws. Saskatchewan mate Cliff Annabelle delivers a rock. Nice take out. Manitoba mate Lauren Stewart follows up with his own takeout. Saskatchewan skip Johnny Franklin, mayor of Rosetown, delivers, and then Manitoba skip Roy Forsyth delivers. Then we have Ontario mate Stan Jones throwing a rock. Nova Scotia's Don Euler hatless in the game against New Brunswick. And behind him on the left with that, it's Tommy Hallett, skip of Newfoundland team. Now we have Nick Thibodeau holding the broom for the New Brunswick team. Panning of the rink. This is Tom Hallett holding the broom. Very familiar pose right here. This is a Quebec member delivering a rock against the Nova Scotia team. It turned out to be the closest game that Nova Scotia played in the tournament. Another panorama showing the crowd gathered toward one side. Panorama shows the Manitoba team in the center sweeping a rock into the house. Next to them on the left is Alberta versus BC and this I believe is Alberta mate Glenn Gray delivering a rock. On 
Terry O'Neill, Stan Jones delivers another rock. George Hansen holds the broom. Don Euler throws against Quebec. George Hansen goes out to help Wally Canuck sweep into the house. Can't quite see, but it appears the shot was made. This is the Briar welcome sign that was held at Dalhousie Memorial Rink in Halifax. Nova Scotia shakes hands with Manitoba after clinching the title with their ninth straight win. We'll see Cliff Torrey, last surviving member of the winning Nova Scotia team at the inaugural Briar at the Granite Club in 1927 in Toronto, standing with my father. Don Euler signs the official scorecard after the Manitoba game. There are some media interviews on the side. The table is being set up for the presentation ceremony. We now see the players being piped in for the closing presentation ceremony. The Nova Scotia team accept their trophy. David Stewart, McDonald's Tobacco. <laughs> 